All right, you guys. So here we have ourselves another uh, DVD update here. Uh, majorly Blu-ray this time around. Yeah. I had a few DVDs, though. Um, now, mind you, most of these that I got were either 75 cents, 50 cents, or 97 cents. I'm like, that's kind of cool. Nothing like hitting those local flea markets, you know? Alrighty, so first off, let's see. Let's kind of get everything organized here. Let's get the DVDs in order and the Blu-rays in order. Yeah. So, okay. So first off, let's get um, the DVDs out of the way. First off, uh, now I've never seen the original movie. I have seen the remake. I loved the remake. And, well, since I found out that uh, Ray Harryhausen actually did... Uh, the original film, I had to hunt it down, and I, well, I had tried to find the Blu-ray, but unfortunately nobody had it, so I just kind of stuck with the uh, DVD. Surprisingly, it's in the original Snapper case. Uh, now that's what I got for 97 cents. We got the original Clash of the Titans. Yeah, I've never actually seen this original version, so it'll be fun to sit down and watch some good old awesome fantasy action up next, uh, well, say this guy, he's one of my favorite actors of all time. Uh, you know, what can we say? Uh, knowing that, though, this movie has some great, great quotes from it. Of course, you know, the main, the main one from this movie, once you see the title. But this particular version of the film, I think, is kind of hard to find. Uh, so here we have the special edition of Tom Cruise's Jerry Maguire. Yeah, you know this one, it's Show Me the Money. Right, but uh, this thing is actually loaded with extras. It's got two discs loaded with stuff. And, uh, yeah, I could say, such a great, great movie. Alrighty, so up next we have, uh, let's see here, another one that I got for, uh, that one was 97 cents, by the way. This one was also 97 cents. Um, had this really cool uh, lenticular uh, slipcover uh, documentary uh, from National Geographic. Uh, I figured, you know, the little man may like it. Uh, so here we have Sea Monsters, a prehistoric adventure. That's pretty cool with the lenticular 3D slipcover. That's awesome. You don't see that very often. Alrighty, then up next we have, um, well, see here, it's a movie that I've heard of, but um, I've seen the Disney version with Kirk Douglas, but I had no idea that Michael Caine made a version of it. Um, yeah, so here we have, I found this for 50 cents, by the way, we have 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, yeah, now this version's almost three hours, and, uh, yeah, I've never actually s seen or even heard of this edition before, so I'm like, cool, I'll have to check it out. It even has, um, a young Patrick Dempsey, and, of course, um, Mia Sarah from, uh, Ferris Bueller. Uh, then we have a racing movie, which I've never even heard of. Uh, it's got Paul Newman in it, and apparently it actually has footage of the 1986 Indy 500, which is pretty cool. Uh, so here we have Paul Newman in winning. And this was like for 50 cents, and it, you can, it's not even opened. That's actually kind of cool. I've never even heard of this movie, so I'm like, cool. Have to check this out. Alrighty, now we get to add some more stuff to the Marvel collection. Yeah, the Marvel animated stuff. Now, I've got Volume 2. I don't have Volumes 1, 3, or 4. I think there's maybe 8 volumes, I think, total in this series. But I did manage to find Volume 1 for 50 cents. So, here we have Volume 1. We have of Earth's Mightiest... Uh, was it Earth's... Earth's Mightiest Heroes, The Avengers, uh, Volume 1, Heroes Assemble. So that's awesome there. Uh, featuring seven episodes and, of course, a bonus feature, which I think these individual uh, DVDs actually have their own bonus features on it, which is pretty cool. And I also managed to find Volume 4, Thor's Last Stand. So I'm like, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I think all I need is, I think, Volume 3. I think, and then I think that's the whole series. I don't know. I have to dig, do some digging. All right, now we got some Blu-rays. Yes. So now I have this movie, but 
the thing is, I'm not sure exactly what all addition, what all special features are different. Uh, because, well, as the rant goes, when this movie was released on DVD and Blu-ray, Paramount decided to piecemeal together all of the extras. So you got this extra for this version, that extra for this version, that commentary for the iTunes, blah, blah, blah. But they released the compendium after all the outcry. But here we have this really cool uh, uh, cover featuring the Star Trek uh, logo. But, uh, so here we have for 97 cents, Star Trek Into Darkness with this really cool um, multicolored um uh, you know, logo there, different scenes from the movie. So, yeah, that's awesome. Alrighty, well, uh, as uh, I I may have mentioned this, I don't know, you may have seen that I had gotten uh, a Hugh Jackman musical called The Greatest Showman. That movie's awesome, by the way. This one here, I think he definitely should have gotten the Oscar for this movie. Uh, I mean... Now, I know the movie is a little bit different than the Broadway, uh, obviously, because, you know, the Broadway is, a little, I think, a little, tiny bit longer. But the musical, like, for the opening song, um, obviously, it's a lot, di it's a, it's totally, it's a lot different. Um, for the opening scene, they made it more bombastic, made it epic and more bigger, you know, as far as sound goes. The original version has more of like a piano softing type sound. Uh, the title song called "Get uh, Sarah uh, was it looked down." Uh, so here, of course, I'm talking about on Blu-ray for 97 cents. By the way, uh, "Les Misérables." I absolutely love this movie. This movie is so good, and especially when um, Anne Hathaway starts uh, singing. Um, what was it? Uh, uh, I dreamed a dream uh, that I figured that they were going to uh, start cutting, you know, during the music, but they just keep on her in that one shot, and it just keeps going and going and going. Such an amazing performance, and on top of that, Russell Crowe is awesome in this movie as um, uh, Javert, which is uh, awesome. Well, then of course you know uh, Hugh Jackman, of course, is Jean Valjean, and I've never actually read the book. I've got the book; it's long. Uh, but anyways, uh, so now we've got ourselves, uh, let's see here, some awesome, hilarious comedies. Yeah. Um, so, mind you, all the, most of these Blu-ray, er, most, yeah, most of these Blu-rays were like 97 cents. This one, however, was a quarter. I guess they were trying to get rid of it. Like, okay. Uh, one of the spoofs that came out that was real popular in the early 2000s, um, uh, I'd say mid-2000s, to, mid really. Um, uh, you know, I mean, what can I say? I've never actually seen this movie. Um, it looks cheesy as it, a lot of those type of movies usually are. Um, but yeah, so here we have on Blu-ray, we have Meet the Spartans. So yeah, we, of course, we all know what that's a spinoff from. Spinoff of 300. I think they jokingly call it the 305, I think, from what memory serves me. But, uh, yeah. Looks hilarious. Uh, now, this one, I've seen the first movie. I, I don't know how I've not seen the second movie. I didn't even know there was a second one. Uh, so here we have Hot Tub Time Machine, the hotter and wetter unrated director's cut. So, yeah, we'll see what the difference is. Um, yeah, it's been forever since I've actually seen the first movie. I don't even really remember it. So, but yeah, that's going to be hilarious. Then, well, now this movie I have seen. <clears throat> what can we say? Uh, it's hilarious. De, De Niro is awesome. We have, De, um, you know, we got Robert De Niro and Zac Efron in Dirty Grandpa, the unrated edition. So, yeah, that's awesome. Alrighty, so now we go into a little bit of horror. Yeah. Alrighty, so now this one here, surprisingly, this thing was only, uh, this thing was only a dollar. Yeah. Uh, of course, I remember seeing this in theaters, and it was so good. Uh, Nicholas Cage film about the end of the world. We have Knowing. Yeah, it's directed, of course, by Alex Proyas, who did The Crow and uh, Dark City. Uh, this movie is really, really good, by the way. Especially if you love post-apocalyptic ending of the world type movies. Uh, really, really good movie. 
Uh, then up next, we have a movie to add to the Blumhouse collection, which this is one I definitely have not seen yet. I'm trying to get all of them. Um, so up next, we've got Fantasy Island. Yeah, looks awesome. So why not? All right, then up next, for 99 cents, we got a double feature. This is probably getting harder to find. Uh, especially on Blu-ray. Now, I know the Shout Factory editions are super expensive. Those are very hard to get my hands on. But, of course, I remember getting... I got the DVD for my birthday bump, uh, from my cousin, from my first cousin, and uh, she thought that I would like it because I was into horror films at the time. And it was kind of a random movie. I'm like, this is kind of interesting. But I found this on Blu-ray. We've got Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers 2. That's actually pretty cool. Alrighty. And for 99 cents, we get to add a movie to the DC collection. One that I haven't seen yet. I don't know why. I heard it's okay, but I'm like, eh, for 99 cents, I'm not really going to complain all that much. We've got Wonder Woman 1984. So how awesome is that? So hopefully it's good. All right. And finally, uh, we got a... Uh, Kind of a documentary uh, from the Disney Nature series. Uh, this one I've seen bits and pieces on the um, on the Disney uh, Plus uh, streaming service. It's from what I've seen, it's pretty cool. Um, but I don't know why. But it just kind of kept going back and forth on the resolution, which was weird. I don't know why. Probably a bunch of people. Um, but anyways, for ninety seven cents, we have Ocean. Uh, this really cool documentary, of course, narrated by James Bond himself, Pierce Brosnan, which is, of course, the uh, Bond that I grew up on. And uh, so, yeah, you have to excuse the uh, door being shut there if you heard it. Uh, nephew was running the muck just a second ago. Yeah, he knows I don't allow him on camera. <laughs> At least not yet. Um, so yeah, so with that, you guys, um, you know, like, subscribe, hit that notification button, uh, leave a comment down below if there's anything you guys want me to review on anything that I have, uh, shown off, let me know down in the comments, because I need some more ideas, um, for, uh, for videos, because, um, I know I, d it just seems like all I do is updates, which, you know, <laughs> That's part of the channel, but, uh, you know, I just have, I have so much crap that I just need to talk about and just don't really have the time to do it. Uh, I swear, just dealing with stuff nowadays, it sucks. Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, so once again, like, subscribe, hit that notification button, you guys, and with that, I'll see you guys next time.